Okay, you guys, on the next video, please excuse the mask. I'm still worrying for my temporary snap and density before I get my permanence. I don't think it's going to take a few months. It winds up going to take several months, six to eight months, so please excuse. This little video is about a cool issue we have where I see in several locations where I work here in Virginia where they have aluminum wiring, they don't use pigtails, they wind up doubling of wires uh, on some outlets they'll have slots in the back with like a piece of metal kind of like a sharp piece of metal where once you slide the wire in doesn't want to slide out uh, unless you push a very thin screwdriver where that piece of metal is in then you can back out the wire I'll sh illustrate that for you guys in the video I'm using pigtails here because I'm using a new conventional outlet which is a lesser price one doesn't have those round slots in the back that I really like that work nice but you can still find these if you look around for them okay so they're not a big issue just knowing the difference between 12 gauge 14 gauge 12 gauge 20 amp breaker 14 gauge 15 amp breaker in this video I dropped the breaker to 15 amp temporary until I get some 12 gauge wiring in there because that's all I had on hand and I wanted to make it more safe than anything else even though it's only in the corner they're only going to use probably not even pull up the 15 amps on the toaster microwave something like that I didn't want to take a chance so I dropped the breaker I'll go put the new breaker the regular breaker back and since that's 20 gauge wiring I'll put 20 gauge wiring redo it, the disconnections all over again but at least I can illustrate how it's done and you guys can get an idea for yourself if you have six wires floating around seven wires floating around and how using a pigtail can make things much more conventional, easier to use. Okay? Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, we've got an issue over here. Got called the uh, outlet was sparking. And this is the one. Can you get my drill from the car? It has some really long screws here. And when we took out the outlet last night, found a broken wire in there. Basically, Somebody decided it was a good idea to put two wires, not even wrapped around one screw that's made to accept one wire. And although it can work, it might have not been a cold where I'm at right now, at the time, 50 years ago, it's a poor idea. Where I'm from up north, uh, this would be against cold. See how long that guy is right there? I really want to get my drill, so maybe I have a little less. Actually, by the time he gets it, I might not need it because I'm going to put in a new outlet. And things are live right here, so it's probably going to be better off just tripping the breaker. Do that in a second. Well, she all came in handy. Correct. Now we're going to trip the breaker just to make life easy for us so we don't have to worry about it. I don't have to wear one glove, worry about being grounded out, not like that. I'll trust the little guy again. Why is correct? Now we just trip that breaker for this. It's open hot there, so we don't have to worry about power anymore. We can do all our work safely. Correct. Okay, I didn't get all the wires off. Can you see this guy here? And there's three other holes here, one here, one here, one here. And there's a blade in there, and basically you just push in the wire. You don't actually have to put it on the screw, which is what they should have did with the other side. Technically, I can leave this here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put two pigtails. Okay, okay, now that we got everything apart to make our life simpler, <laughs> we're going to put all the neutrals together, all the hots together, which would be this one here that's capped off from last night. And then we'll make a pigtail from here and connect it to the two device. Let me get the pigtails together. You get an idea. And then I'll show you, okay? Okay, try not to make too many pigtails. That's a load, that's a load, that's my line, that's my line, my power coming in. 
since I have two on each side and I have three of these I'll take the shortest one probably this one make a pigtail these two together and that'll be one neutral and this will be a second neutral this will be one hot the load and this will be my line coming in and of course my ground okay we did our pigtail and the hot over here we're doing the pigtail over here for the neutral and we put our next copper aluminum with that goo crap on there and we're going to final step with our lineman's pliers to get this done. Okay, I got my two pigtails, hot in the back, neutral in the front. Got my line coming in, got my load going out. Those are pigtails for those two hots. Got my grind, uh, ground here. See everything's turned the direction, the screw's going in. And my two neutrals, regular neutral pigtails and two other neutrals. They do make outlets that have where you can actually push in the wire up to 20 amp like that but you can see one side here actually got burnt out where the hot was you can see the small side the hot was actually I thought it was on the screw I was wrong this is a proper device made to actually push in wires in the back and these are 20 amp wires these are 12 gauge I'm using a 14 gauge wire right here because I don't have it so I have to drop the break of the 15 amp okay on this uh, circuit okay okay we got everything in place remember I said I had the wrong gauge wiring so I either have to get the proper gauge wiring or I have to drop the breaker okay dropping the breaker is the option this time because I got emergency I had to put electrical tape around it because the neutral was a little too close to the or the ground was a little too close to the neutral when I bent the most to fit everything in that box so yes I have a little bit of trouble but I'll be okay in a minute Test here it is. Test everything. Make sure everything is good. We got correct wiring. It's AFCCI, system is energized. Power to the tester is still working good. We are good to go. This repair is done. Okay, all the crap I had to use. Wire stripper. My $50 client tester, I have a video on it, I'll put a connection below. Put a connection below on how to properly connect your wire connectors with wire connect, uh, wires and wire connector, how to switch them all together. Little light, packaging, fill up, very small for the cover, sheathing, nice, peel off the sheathing. Uh, need a nose Slot screwdriver Okay, that one is actually nip. It's kind of hard to find. Hey, right. my gloves for sure And I was already asked are you sure you're gonna use all this stuff and I forgot to do it. Sure enough okay.